Hello students. Welcome to Sheikh Vidya Mandal English High School SSC online audio video lessons. My dear children, today you are going to learn a very unusual and very interesting topic. The topic is how to create animated GIF using PowerPoint. Myself Mrs. Pramila Adia, I am going to explain you today this topic which is not in your syllabus but yes it is very interesting. So your school State Pidya Mandir English High School has taken this initiative to teach you this topic. So to follow this topic you have to understand first the meaning of GIF. GIF means what? When you see a movie that is a video file all the clips are joined together and a continuous motion is being seen. But in GIF, GIF itself means graphics integrated format. In this graphic format what happens is you have to join small small images and that goes into a particular motion. Right? But not in a continuous, a small clips. Small clips that are joined together to form a video that is called as GIF. Okay? So you will be practicing it on PowerPoint. You will be first preparing the presentation PowerPoint and then later on you will convert that file into a GIF format to see the animated file. So let's move ahead, follow the video in the next slide. Yes, yes. yes. So, today, so today as our topic, topic is, is water cycling. cycling. So we know the concept of water cycling that is the from the sun rays the water in the ocean it gets heated up and due to that evaporation takes place and after this step of evaporation we have precipitation, condensation, formation of clouds and finally rain droplets. So this is the concept. And this is what we are going to show in our GIF files. So, first of all, if I want to create such type of GIF, what will be the first thing I want to do it? I want to search images on the internet. That is on Google Chrome. So, first log on to Google Chrome. As soon as you log on to Google Chrome here, what you have to do is, you will see the screen here you type sun images so you can see here all the images of the sun whatever you want it will be seen over here but now as you are taking it from the internet the first thing you have to do is you have to take the license copies you cannot take the unauthorized ones okay so for that thing you have to know how to know which will be our license images which you can take it you can use it that is in the tools you can see the tools over here as soon as you click you can see a usage rights is given click on this usage rights and click on this option creative common license so as soon as you click here you can see in blue color it has been highlighted that means these are the images which you can use it for your file okay students so you can see here so many images we have got of sun correct now from here what i want is i want to take one beautiful image of sun so let us select any image of sun over here okay so suppose I have selected this image. So what you will do is right click this image and click on save image as. Okay. As soon as you click on the save image you have to first see whether this image is JPG image or not. Right. So it's not a JPG image. Take one JPG image that will be much more useful for you. Yes. This is again PNG image. Let, Let us take, take a JPG, JPG image, image over here. Yeah. yeah. So, so save images. Here, here you can, can see. see. You can, can 
save this image okay so i'm saving this image on my folder whichever folder you are taking it for your presentation you can just take the folder i have saved it on the desktop over here so you can see it has been downloaded it has been saved after this one i want the next image that is of ocean i want to show the ocean now correct so these are the images this is again license one authentic images so again you have to take suppose i am taking this image okay so again right click this image whichever image you want save the image yes it's a jpg image over here right ocean.jpg and save this image correct so already it has been saved over here so you can see ocean1.jpg so like this go on searching the images and finally you will get the image over here so i have taken like this if you see on the desktop i have saved the images you have the cloud image over here you have the sun image over here you have water image evaporation image and finally precipitation image right so like this i have saved the images on my file over here now what you have to do is again go to your powerpoint open the powerpoint file okay here you are you are opening a new file a new blank presentation click over here correct first what you will do is you will delete this file because you want a blank presentation you want a blank slide so take this slide as a blank slide over here what you will do is you will insert the image over here first to create this click on the insert pictures in the insert pictures you will get two options that is this device and online picture see students this is the version that is 2016 version which i have it on the laptop over here in presentation and the recent one we have 2019 powerpoint okay so both the options has the option which has jpg that is to convert the files into gif okay so we can use this click on this device and here again go to desktop where i have saved my images of sun correct now from here i can take the image of sun which i have already chosen so you can just take this so you can see yes students this is what is the sun over here now i want to label it for the presentation so here let us take the text box and label this and write it down at the center alignment right you are giving the font size also and you are writing in capital letters about the sun over here so you are specifying it that this is the sun so this becomes your first slide okay students now what you can do is you can again insert or you can prepare another slide you can go to duplicate slide over here okay now in the next slide what i want is i want the next image what is that i want the image of a ocean so again the same way go to the insert menu click on this device where you have saved it go to that particular option where you have already saved your image of ocean you can see here this is the image that is ocean over here now i have to show the connection between this again the same procedure you have to again insert a text box over here to show again take it in bold central alignment and here i am giving ocean and i want to show the connection between this to show the connection what you are doing is you are inserting a shape you can see here arrow marks we have to give base block arrows you can see block arrows given over here 
Click on the second option down. Second row, the first option of block arrow. Yes. This shows that you are showing it. Here you can see students, you can adjust this. That is a rotation moment. You can give such type of rotation moments to show it of your screen. So got it. This is the sun. That is you are showing that the sun rays are falling in the oceanic waters and the water gets heated. So this was the second step. Again now what we are doing is Again duplicate the slide or you can copy paste the slide. You can see right click it, click on the duplicate slide. Yes, I got the third slide again over here. After the sun, after the ocean, you are going to the next image. Again go to the insert. Insert this device. Yes, you have the evaporation over here. Yes, so you are showing that in the ocean water, what happens is evaporation creates. Yes, you can just increase the size also over here because the oceans has to be seen properly. Now comes the evaporation. Yes, what happens? The oceanic water evaporates. And finally, now again, the same procedure. Go to insert and click on the text box. Label this particular image as evaporation. Yes, yes, like this text, text box, box to give it a give color over here, here and, and also style it as bold. Now, now again the same thing you can do. This is copy. copy. Okay, okay. And, and then, then you can then just click on paste the same area. area. So directly you can, you can move it over here. here. Yes, yes students. students. Again, again we can, can rotate, rotate this image over, over here. here. So, so I want to show it. That from the oceanic waters, what is happening? Evaporation takes place. So you can show the evaporation over here. This way. You can again increase the size of this arrow. So that... It becomes, it becomes similar. similar. Yes. Yes, yes, yes students. students. Now, now what? what? After, After this. this. Let it align, align it properly. properly. Now. now. After, After the evaporation. evaporation. What, is what is the next, next thing? thing? Precipitation. Precipitation. Now, now what do you have to do is. Again. You have, have to. to Duplicate the slide so that we can go to the another slide again. Yes, this comes again the next slide. Here, I want to again insert the next picture that is of precipitation. Where you can see the condensation also takes place over here. So reduce the size over here. So after the evaporation, what happens is precipitation takes place over here. So here, again insert the text box. And again give over here the name of the image. That is the label in the image. Precipitation. Right? right? After, After the precipitation, precipitation what, what we get is that is condensation takes place. You can see in the figure itself, it is shown that again we want to copy paste this arrow. So let us copy paste this arrow again. Let this arrow again just specify there. 
you can you again can give over here. here. So, this so minimizes, minimizes your work, work students again. again. Then, then, now, after, after this, this precipitation, precipitation, you have, have shown, shown over, over here. here. Yes, and now the next thing. After the precipitation comes the formation of clouds and you can just reduce the size once again, again so, so that, that it becomes, becomes similar, similar to the, the other arrows, arrows. Fine. fine now, now comes, comes the next one. one you can you again can duplicate this duplicate this line so you have you come, come here. here now you insert again one, one more image, image that is of the clouds formation and rains so here yeah, you can see students one more image has been placed here that it shows the last option the last option of this particular concept so reduce it in such a format so that it fixes in that particular space yes so this shows Again, Again, copy paste copy this arrow, arrow. take this arrow here again. Again, again, again rotate, rotate this arrow, arrow with the help of the rotation sign. We can we just can minimize, minimize this. this. You can just adjust a little bit to here. here. That's, That's fine. fine. So, this, so this completes, completes your, your water, water cycle, cycle students. Right? right? So, this so is this what we are going to explain over here, here about, about water cycle. cycle. Now, now what, what you have to do is click on save as. As soon as you click on save as, you select the folder where you want to select it and then here you are giving the name as water cycle right but how you will save it as you have to save it as a jpg image or gif also you can save you have graphics interchange format over here so this is a GIF image you can see. So you can see here it has come GIF image because it is PowerPoint 2016 students. So you have that option over here. As soon as you click over here see the option you are getting. Which slides do you want to export? You have to click on the first option that is all the slides. Yes. So it is showing me again where the slides have been placed. Yes, each slide in your presentation have been saved as a separate folder. So each slide has become a folder now. Okay students, so you can see how many slides we have. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 slides. Okay, let us quit this now. It has been already saved. So once again. You have already saved, saved this. this. Let, Let us close, close these things. things. Okay. okay. Now, now, what you have to do is go to your Google Chrome. 
Here yeah, what you have to type is, you have to type E-Z-G-I-F. Okay, because what we are doing, we are converting our PowerPoint slides into a GIF images, right? That is into a GIF. GIF means what? That is graphical interchange format. So you are changing the format of your file. So I will click on this ezgif.com. The first option. As soon as you click over here, you can see over here GIF maker. Click on this GIF maker. As soon as you click on this GIF maker, that is you have to animate your file now. You have prepared your presentation. You have given all the slides whatever you want. You have given all the images. Now I want to convert it into a GIF. So click choose the files. Okay. So it will again come which type of files do you want to choose. So these were the files which we had already taken. Correct? You can see the files over here, the slides you can see it over here. All the slides, slide 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So we have 5 slides over here. So let us check all the slides whichever we want. Okay? So here you will be taking this first slide. You can click on the shift button and you can take the slides. 1, 2, 3, and after this we are taking the fourth slide this one let me just uh, check wait let me delete the unwanted slides which i don't want it one two three four and let us delete these slides which we don't want it one two three four and five yes So I want, so I want all these five slides as we had seen in our PowerPoint presentation. One, two, three, four and five. So these were the slides which we had prepared in our presentation. So click on this. So you can see a number of live files have been seen. Now click on upload and make a GIF. So the file which you had taken, all the files you have taken. Yes, you can see over here. After, After clicking on upload, upload, you get all the five slides over here. You can see the delay time given over here. You can click over here and give the give delay time as 50 instead of 20. Because giving this delay time means it will give the motion that is how much time the slides have been seen on the screen. 20 seconds, 50 seconds. Yes. To upload one, one to five, five yes, yes, we have five, five slides. slides. So one, one to five, five is seen over here. here. Now, now delay time here. here. That is yes. delay time of the frame. Here, here also you can put 50 or let us take 60 over here. here. So each so of the slide you can see it very nicely. So here, here this is the GIF options you have given over here. here. Just, Just click, click on this and click on make a GIF. So after giving all the options, you can see your file over here. Yes students, I suppose you can see this very nicely. This is how you are converting your PowerPoint files into a GIF ones. Yes students, what the last step you have to do is click on save. You can see the save button over here. Click on the save and save it to your desired location. So this is your GIF file. It has been completed now. This shows the water cycle. Okay students. So this is how we have completed our water cycle GIF. I hope you must have understood and enjoyed this. So you can try students with some different topic. Okay. Thank you very much.